Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with Czook Stitch. Today is Saturday, March 28th, 2020. Welcome back if you're returning and welcome if you're new. I'm really glad that you're here. I want to show you my t-shirt today, Girl Power. That's it. It's really simple. But hey, at least I got dressed unlike last time where I filmed completely in my bathroom. But it's all good. I um, This week has been spring break, which I took off of work. And... Um, I've been decluttering, so I decluttered my closet and all my clothes, and I found this old t-shirt that says Girl Power, so I thought I'd put it on. Uh, so let's just get right into it. I have my notes right here, and I'm surrounded on my couch by a lot of stuff. Um, so first up, last Sunday was my birthday. I had a great birthday, despite everything being locked down and social distancing and all that. Um, I had so many wonderful phone calls. I FaceTimed. I um, got a lot of messages. I did have a few friends who stopped by. They <laughs> they rang the doorbell and then they went out and stood on the sidewalk while I stood in my doorway. Uh, and we chatted from kind of talked loudly <laughs> from there for a little bit. And then in the evening, I had two friends that I was supposed to have dinner with who stopped over and they came on my back patio and dropped off gifts and they brought a candle. Um, they stood at the far edge of my back patio and I stood at my patio door um, and they lit the candle and sang me happy birthday and then we opened presents. So it was all done safely from a distance, uh, but it turned out to be a really, really lovely day. And I have rain checks for brunch and dinner when this whole thing blows over. So it was a really lovely day and I feel so, I felt the love. I feel so lucky and so blessed. Um, I realized in my last video, I said I was going to show you a picture of my toe and I forgot, completely forgot to put it in because I think I'm going to kind of not do as much editing as I've done. I realized it probably never looked like I did a whole lot anyway. <laughs> but what I would do is I would re-watch all my videos before posting them and then try to put in, you know, wording and whatnot. And I'll do that from time to time, but I really want to try to upload more frequently. So maybe about once a week. And in order to do that on top of everything else going on, I think I have to kind of cut out the editing part. So that's why I forgot, but I'm going to put in. So for those of you who didn't watch last week's, I think I maybe broke my toe right after I had eye surgery. Um, I didn't go to the doctor or anything because they don't really need to deal with that right now. And there's really nothing that they can do for a broken toe. It still hurts, but the bruising has gone away. So I'm going to insert a picture. So if you don't like feet, you don't like, there's nothing, there's no like blood or anything like that. Um, and it's not disfigured in any way. It's just, I don't know. I just think it's kind of, kind of cool. <laughs> Is that weird? That's a little weird. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to put in a picture of my toe here. And if you don't like feet, um, then look away or look at your stitching and I'll tell you when we're back. So here is the toe picture. Okay, we're back. Um, so that's what it looked like kind of at its height. Um, the bruising has definitely gone down, but it definitely still hurts. Luckily, I'm not leaving the house hardly ever. Um, so I'm able to rest it. <laughs> so it's kind of perfect timing if you're going to break a toe. Uh, it's not like I'm I'm on it a lot, and I'm not wearing shoes, which it seems to aggravate more when I'm wearing shoes. Uh, I did have a quick update. I did have my post-op eye doctor appointment this past week. Um, I was surprised they still had it, but they did. I think they were trying to kind of hurry up because they moved they moved the times like three different times, um, each time earlier, and they finally did it. Like it was supposed to originally be at. 3 p.m. on Thursday, and they ended up, by the time all was said and done, they had moved it to 8 a.m. on Wednesday, which is fine with me. I'm not doing anything anyway um, because I'm on, I'm taking spring break. So I had the time, and everything looks great. So they dilated both eyes, which was annoying, <laughs> but I know it's necessary. Um, they say dilation is only supposed to last a couple hours, two, three hours. It doesn't for me. I don't know if they just say that or if others have the same experience, but it pretty much took me out for the whole day. I slept most of that day. Um, yeah, so that was kind of nice. I kind of feel like I wasted a day, but it was also kind of nice to just sleep all day and not be able to do anything else. 
So the good news, we're all clear. I am back. Last night, I was able to stitch for three and a half hours. I finally, I had ordered, I finally think I found a good strength of readers for me for stitching, which is plus 3.5. Um, these ones that you'll see me put on for reading, just computer work or reading, uh, are 2.5. Um, so I think, I think I'm back and I'm really, really excited. I really missed, I really missed kind of that sense of normalcy. So let's get into it. What have I been working on? So since last week, I have a new start. I have two new starts actually. Uh, this one was a birthday new start that I started last Sunday. And it's completely Jan Hicks fault uh, because she had posted a few different kits and asked which one last Sunday and asked, you know, everybody, which one should I start? And I saw that she had this piece and I said, well, I have that piece too. So I think you should start it. And then we ended up starting to it together. So this is, they're all in my Garon tote and bags bags. So this is the butterfly one with the leaf fabric and I just really love this one. I love the 12 by 13 size. Um, I think it's the perfect size for me. Most of my bags, I have a couple larger ones, um, but 11 by 11 Q-snaps is kind of my favorite size uh, and they fit perfectly in these bags. Now, of course that said, this one is not on an 11 by 11. So this piece that I started is called Scenic Farm and it's a dimensions kit. This is what it will look like. This was my unicorn. I saw Country Stitchers um, was working on it, uh, and it was out of print for quite a while, and it was going for sale on, it was available still on eBay, but they were asking like $70, $80, even $100 for it, and I just didn't want to pay that much, knowing that they had said that they were thinking of re-releasing it, Dimensions, uh, just because there was... Um, a want by the stitching community. So they re-released it. When did they? I want to say it was like fall, maybe early fall. I can't quite remember. I bought it off of Hershner's as soon as they re-released it. It's like $25. It's the whole kit. You get everything. You get the, um, I think it's a 16 count Ada. Now I lost my readers. See, I've joined that ranks of where are my glasses? Um, it comes with 18 count white Ada needle all the floss. So this is what it will look like when it's done. I love it. I know there's farmland all over the United States. Um, this really reminds me of growing up. I grew up in Nebraska. Um, and so this reminds me of the farms in Nebraska. It's very flat with lots of trees. Um, I did not grow up on a farm, but there's a lot of farmland. And I'm sure this looks like farmland in, in most other states as well, but it reminds me of where I grew up. And I just got a little start. I worked on it for maybe two days. Um, and so this is my start. So I started in the upper left on the sky and then there's cat hair all over it. And then this is the start of, um, a tree. So that's the start. And I did change out the fabric. Um, the Ada was very, very stiff. Uh, so I changed it to a 25 count Lugana in white and I'm going, I'm doing it one over one on 25 count. So I am really liking this. Um, this was completely unplanned, but it's hard when you have a kit. There's really no excuse not to start it. And when Jan Hex is, says, hey, you want to start this with me? You really, I mean, of course, of course you will start it. Um, this this Q-snap is one, is it eight by 11 maybe? Yeah, I think it's like eight by 11. This is a good size too. It's a bit lighter. It's actually, I'm using this size a lot more. It's this eight by 11 or whatever size it is, <laughs> um, because it is just a little bit lighter and easier to manage in my hands. So one over one 25 count white Lugana, and the kit also comes with all the floss. Look how long that is. So they have them on these neat floss cards. This is not DMC. This is Dimensions makes their own, um, has their own kind of floss, and they say in the instructions, you know, if you run out, um, all their floss has uh, numbers you can contact them if you do happen to run out or run short in a kit you can contact them with the number and they will send you more uh, so that's what I'm working on I'm probably gonna put this away this wasn't really intended to be a focus piece or even a start this year so after after this I will probably put it away maybe I'll bring it back out in fall 
I'm not sure. It seems like a fall piece um, to me, but so I did start on that. The other start, this is in this bag I got for my birthday from my friend Jane. She said that she thought I needed a stitching bag. Um, this is from Fancy Boy Designs on Etsy. It has this really great um, handle, and it's a great little bag. It fits perfectly, this small project. This is for Year of Whips. Every month she has you do a challenge, uh, a, a kind of a theme. And this month's theme is magazine flip through. So you're supposed to work on a piece that came out of a magazine. And I'm going to do this piece. I'm going to show it to you. It's a um, black and white photocopy out of the magazine. It's hard to kind of see, but it's a stocking stuffed with toys. Um, it's called Christmas Morning Goodies by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, and it's from the 2018 issue of Chris, uh, Just Cross Stitch uh, Christmas Ornaments. And I started this, I've only worked on it two evenings, and it goes quite quick. So this is my start. So I have the borders completely done, and then I'm starting on the toys inside the stocking. This is on 28 count Crystal Pansy Lugana by Picture This Plus. And it does have, now you'll remember I tried um, stitching on uh, uh, opalescent fabric before and I couldn't see, oh, for the Santa's Village. And I couldn't see the holes at all. For whatever reason, I'm not really having that problem on here. Every once in a while, I do have a little bit of an issue, but for the most part, um, it's going really well. It's cute. It's relatively quick. Uh, and easy and I like it and I think it'll be cute and it'll be nice I, I'm needing a finish you guys so I think that that I'll kind of do on a rotation of maybe work on it four hours a month until it's done so that is Christmas morning goodies and then the other piece I worked on this week is my temperature tree I can't find it I have no idea where it is I've looked all over before I started filming I'm not one to lose things <laughs> I, I kind of am the responsible one, and I, I don't really lose things, let alone something. Like, I only stitch. I don't stitch anywhere else. I stitch in my bed. Everything is in my bed um, or my craft room, and I look both places. I can't find it. I'm not sure where it went. Um, so I'll have to show it to you next time. But I did my goal because I was so far behind. I hadn't even started March as of my last video last week. I got the March branch done and I got all caught up on the March leaves um, up until um, whatever last Sunday. And so I work on it on Sunday. So tomorrow I'll work on it for this past week. You know what? I might have a picture. If I have a picture, I'll insert the picture here for you to see. So that's my progress on temperature tree, and that's what I've worked on. I think that's pretty good uh, for one week's worth of progress. I'm pretty pleased with that. Now, let's move right on into haul. Um, so for my haul, first up, I want to show you, I got this. I had ordered it a while ago. This is Neverland Sea by Fabrics by Stephanie. Sorry about the glare there. I ordered this a while ago, and I ordered it to put Royal Holiday on by Mirabilia. I'm going to start this with Geary from Garon Toten Bags. We're going to start it together, so I think that will be a really pretty background. Um, I want it to be like a darker, I don't care for the background they have on there. I, she just To me, she just feels like she, the colors are really pop. Let's see if I have. I mean, this is a really terrible way to do a floss toss, but I think the colors will pop on there and it just evokes Christmas to me. Now, we're not going to, we don't, so StitchCon is coming up in June. As of right now, they have not canceled anything. They do not plan on canceling anything unless the state cancels it for them, um, given everything that's going on. So I am still planning on going. So we will see what happens with that and I'll keep you posted. So that was my fabric 
For my birthday, I got a gift card from my friend Sam. Hi, Sam. To one, two, three, Stitch, which I am making my list and going to figure out how I want to spend that. I also got a gift card from a good friend of mine to my local needle workshop, Acorns and Threads. Uh, so thank you for that. And then my parents did give me a little bit of um, spending money for StitchCon if they have it. It was really cute in the card they wrote out what to spend it on. It was all stitchy goodness. I mean, not telling me what to buy, but if StitchCon happens, use it at StitchCon. If StitchCon doesn't happen, you know, use it at Acorns and Threads and all that. So it was very sweet. So it was very generous. Uh, I'm so lucky. I'm having a lot of fun. I did place a big order with um, Acorns uh, for my market haul. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm excited about that, and I just bought some stuff on Etsy. There's so many great choices at Market this year. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. So I'll definitely share that with you when it all comes in. One of the other things I got, now this was on my Christmas, or my Christmas, my Amazon wish list. And my friends, the ones who um, came to the back patio with the candle and sang me happy birthday, got this for my birthday. This is the Magic of Christmas to Cross Stitch French Charm for Stitch Work for your stitch work. I'm gonna do a flip through of this. I'm gonna film it right after this so you'll see me in the same Girl Power t-shirt. And I'm probably gonna upload it on Wednesday um, just to give you a little bit of a midweek break. This, this book is gorgeous. Um, so I highly recommend it. Watch for that video, watch for the flip through uh, to come through. I really, the pictures alone in this are just gorgeous. Um, and then I got, from my friend Anne, very sweetly sent me the surprise chart from Lizzie Kate. It's called Friendship, and there's two charts in there. One says, friends make life a little sweeter, and the other one says, friends listen with the heart. So I'm definitely going to be stitching both of those, or at least one of those. Um, I'm not sure when, but um, definitely very sweet. So thank you so much, Anne. This was such a, a sweet surprise. And then a bit of stitchy kindness came in the mail from Kelly. And Kelly, thank you so much. Kelly sent me a bunch of charts. Um, she said I could either keep them or give them away or do a little bit of both. Um, so let me show you what she sent. She sent this Lizzie Kate, Friends Are Like Angels on Earth. It's a snippet. She sent me this. If at first you don't succeed, do what your wife said. Sent Farm Life by Little House Needleworks. I haven't seen this one before. Petal Pusher Spring Beauty. I'm definitely gonna um, I'm gonna stitch that one. This one, Necessity Sampler by Little House Needleworks. This is the Jack Frost Tree Farm, Douglas Fir. Um, I'm definitely stitching this one. I'm, you know, like you get one and then you're like, well, maybe I need the whole thing now. Um, cause I know it's a whole kit. I'm not sure how many pieces, maybe eight or nine, but I might need the whole thing. And it's funny cause Douglas fir, Kelly, I don't know if you knew this. Um, but I live in Oregon and Douglas fir is the Oregon state tree. So we are very familiar with our Douglas fir. This very unique one by Alice, Alessandra Adelaide. Isn't that fun? This one is Rosewood Manor, Music Amongst the Trees. Very pretty. This is Friendship Sampler by Little Dove Designs. I'm definitely going to keep that one and stitch that. Side by side or miles apart. Good friends are always close to your heart. And look, there's two little squirrels right there. Very sweet. And this is another Little Dove Designs garden sampler. It says, one who plants a garden plants happiness. So Kelly, thank you so much for that. And some of these I'm going to keep, some I'm going to give away. Um, some I actually have friends that I think will really love it, so I will send that to them. So Kelly sent that. All right, let's see what else is next. This is going much faster than I expected. I just dropped everything on the floor, so I have to find my notes again. Okay, so for giveaways, 
Now, if you've won a giveaway recently, say in the past couple of weeks, I haven't mailed it out yet. I have it ready to go, but with everything that's been going on, um, I just haven't made it to the post office. Um, well, I made it to the post office, but not while they were open for mailing packages. So I think I might just have to do it online or something. So Leslie Wilson, I'm not going to show. I have it in your envelope here. I have it ready to go. I just haven't sent it out yet. Um, so if you're waiting for giveaways, um, like everybody who won last week, I haven't sent them out yet either. So if you're waiting for that, um, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of waiting to see what the best way to do that is. Um, and I don't want to make a specific trip. Um, to the to the um, post office for that because it's not an, it's not essential right and I, I should be able to ship them out from the house I just have to figure out how to do all that okay so last time here we go last time we had two giveaways the first one was this really cute dimensions kit um, I really love this. This is courtesy of my friend Andrea, who sent a big box of giveaways. Um, so the winner for this is Verpy R. So Verpy, you won this. I can't remember if I had your address. I forgot to look um, at a time, but um, please send me your address. My email is czookstitch at gmail.com, or you can email me on Messenger or Instagram and I'll get that sent out when we can. And then this, this lovely book uh, is courtesy of our friend Karen, who's also sent me a box of items to give away. This beautiful, um, just a book full of, I don't wanna show any charts, but full of beautiful variety of flowers to win, to stitch. And the winner of this is Matthew Gear. So Matthew, um, Matthew, you won this, and I'm pretty sure I need your address. So uh, feel free to send me your address. Uh, Messenger's fine. Um, I know we've chatted a little bit on Messenger. So congratulations to Matthew and Verpy, and thank you to Andrea and Karen for sending those so that we can share the goodness. Now, for this week's giveaway, I'm going to do... I'm going to do six because I think we need it. Um, so first up, and this is another one from Karen's box. I just thought, so it's end of March and in April. So here's my thinking of why April is Earth Day in April, uh, April 22nd, I think. And this just reminded me, it says for Earth's sake. And it's several different kind of wildlife animals to stitch and I thought that was really really appropriate um, for April and if you feel like stitching something for Earth Day so this here says protect our wildlife and then they put some of those images on a blanket there's a bald eagle that says endangered let me see if I can find Yeah, so this is perfect for um, Earth Day. This one down here is a bunny and a robin, and it says, be a friend to the earth. I just think it's really neat. Um, it's really, so if you are into, wow, there's this, look at this. I'm just going to hold it real quick. So if you are interested in winning this, say something about Earth. Okay, the keyword I'm going to be looking for is Earth. So thank you again, Karen. Um, now I'm going to give away several of the small ones. The first one, this is one from the packet that Kelly sent us. Lizzie Kate snippet, friends are like angels on Earth. Let's say angels. Okay, so if you want this, say something about angels. Now the next few are from this giant box that Andrea sent me, and I tried to dig through. I, I don't know that I've gotten through all of them because it really was a large box, um, but I tried to pull out ones that are seasonally relevant. 
Okay, so the first is another Flip It by Lizzie Kate. It's June. So if you want to win this, say something about June. Next up is Spring Sampler. Another Lizzie Kate snippet. So say Spring. The next one is a heart and hand, We Wooly. So say something about wool, W-O-O-L, wool. And then this one is great for Easter. This is a homespun elegance. It's called Curious Hair. I think it's so sweet. Um, It doesn't come with the charms or anything like that, right? Um, but you can, they're just bee charms, so you can either find them or leave them off or stitch them in or whatever you want. And for this one, say something, hair, H-A-R-E. That's what I'll be searching for, hair. Okay? So those are the giveaways. Again, I'm not exactly sure when we're going to get them sent out, but I'm keeping track. No worries about that. Now, plans. Plans for my upcoming week. Remember this calendar? This is where I'm keeping track of my monthly. Um, so this is what March looks like. So everything in this blue ink is a new start. <laughs> March isn't quite over yet, but all those X's are days I didn't stitch. I did not get much stitching done this month, you guys. I had my surgery. I got a little sick under the weather before that. Some motivation. Um... So, yeah, March wasn't a great stitching month. Um, one of my goals was to finish Harbor Haven number six. I'm not anywhere close to doing that, but that's okay. Um, so in the next week, every month I want to do a rotation. So I have a few pieces that I try to get four hours in each month. One of those, and I can show them to you. Okay, so this is the first one I'm going to be working on then. For this month. So is this Cross Stitch Nation by Heartstring Samplery. This is where I'm at. Um, I'm going to pull this back out tonight. I think I scheduled it. Yeah, I'm going to do a four-hour rotation, my March four-hour rotation tonight and probably tomorrow unless I get four hours in on it tonight. About four hours. Like I, if I go over, um, that's absolutely fine too. But it's Saturday night, so maybe I'll be able to do four hours tonight. And then I'll pull it back out maybe early April and get the April rotation done. But I plan to do a four-hour rotation until this is done each month. Another Garan Toten Bags, the kitties. And inside is the paw print. And they, they put on these tags that say Garan on, oh, <laughs> Garan on one side and then on the other gives you a space to, oh, I didn't write a start date. Um, I have it written down somewhere. So, heartstrings, or uh, cross stitch nation, I'm going to be working on. I also want to do a four-hour rotation each month on my Hade, Farewell to Anger. Um, so, this is what it will look like when it's all done. Someday. <laughs> This is how far I'm at right now. This is 11 by 17 Q-snap, which works well for a Hade. What is this? Oh. Um, <laughs> so that's where I'm at. Um, I wanna do four hours on this. Usually I do my four hour rotation on the fifth of the month because uh, Mania has uh, full coverage on the fifth. So on the fifth of each month, you stitch on your full coverage pieces, which I think is great motivation. I didn't get to it on the fifth, and then I kept not getting to it. So I'm going to pull it out. So I'm going to plan two days for Cross Stitch Nation, two days to do Farewell to Anger, four hours. Another Garon. This is the larger size, the 12 by 18 inch size, which fits really nicely the uh, 11 by 17 he snaps. Then, so I'm going to do a four hour rotation on each of those pieces. I'm going to work on the temperature tree, get that caught up. 
and then I'm going to work on Harbor Haven for the rest of the week. I am working on number six, which looks like this. And whoa, my needle minder fell off. Okay. So this is where I'm at. So it's really just this tree is all I've gotten done and I'm not even done with that. So my goal for finishing that this month is obviously not going to happen and that's okay. Um, my whole goal, this is number six, my whole goal is to finish all 12 pieces this year. I still have time. I can still make up time um, because April... So six, I wanted to get done in March. Not going to happen, but it, it should get done in April. And then I want to get number seven. Oh, eight. Hmm. Well, we'll still get it done. I have leeway. I was going to say seven I could get done between May and June, but I actually said number eight. Um, so it'll, it'll work out. Um, I just want to keep making sure that I make progress on that. So again, cross stitch nation I'll work on tonight and tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll work on temperature tree as well. Farewell to anger I'll work on Monday, Tuesday. Um, and then Wednesday to Friday I'll work on Harbor Haven. And then I'm going to try to upload next Saturday because I'm going to try to do weekly again, which, or not again, but for the first time. And then by then I should have some March stats for you to update. I'm not really doing the 24 hours of cross stitch uh, planner, um, the cross stick and all that. I just found it with what the projects I have, it was just really hard. Um, and I was finding myself spending a lot of time taking pictures and, and messing around with that. So I still do plan on doing the 24 hours of cross stitch marathon. The next one is April 24th through the 26th. Originally, I wasn't going to be able to make it because I had a work trip. Uh, that that I was going to get home that Friday night very late from. Um, but as it turns out, we have a travel band in the state of Oregon. So, uh, or not, maybe not in the state, but my work has a travel band. So no travel is permitted at least through April. Uh, and April is normally a very busy travel month for me. Uh, but all that got canceled. So I'm going to be home. I'll be able to participate in 24 hours of cross stitch, which I'm really excited uh, I did, my first one was in January, and I did 18 of the 24 hours, learned a lot about how to do it. Um, I'm going to try to do 24 hours. I'm going to break it up into try to do eight hours a day. Um, so if I can break it up throughout the day and do it in smaller chunks, then that would be really helpful, I think, you know, if you can do it in two hour chunks broken up throughout the day. I'll plan it out. I'll let you know. Uh, but last time I got an entire Harbor Haven done um, just in that block of time. So I think April will be a much better stitchy month. I'm getting back almost two hours a day from not having to commute into work since we're teleworking this month yet. Um, and maybe longer, we just don't know. But other than that, be well, take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.